Looking good. Signal looks good. And yet I am getting some hitching on YouTube. Pardon me just a second. Not entirely sure why. It appears to be working on my end, and yet I'm getting hitching on YouTube. Even YouTube says it's an excellent uh, connection. Sticky Fingers says, you cold, pal? I am cold, yeah. It's a cold night. Uh, all right. Maybe it's a glitch. Okay, it must be a glitch on my YouTube end because it, everything looks fine to me on Twitch. So I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, signal live on YouTube and hope for the best. There we go. And we're live on YouTube. James Epp. On Facebook says, good evening, Oxhorn and chat. Good evening, James Epp. Good to see you today. Baron Von Grimm on Twitch says, Oxhorn, it's Wade from YouTube on Twitch. Hey there, Baron. Good to see you all the way from YouTube on Twitch. Wildcat says, I don't see you live on YouTube. Yeah, I, um, I had it private. Uh, due to all of the technical problems that I've been having of late, I've decided that it's prudent to do multiple tests before pinging 1.6 million people that I was live. Um, <clears throat> I did a previous test, and it looked good, and so uh, this is my second attempt, and it looks good, but it's not updating on my monitor over here, but it was on my phone, so I'm assuming that everything is good to go. And there we are. We are now live on YouTube, and the chat is rolling in. There we go. Good to see everybody on YouTube today. Pendleton, Automatic Beats, Rachel, Pickles, The Junkyard Cat, Sean Fernango, Elliot, Hellcat, Changed One, Wyoming Homesteader, Timberjack, Strange Bear, Jeff Day, Lane Berry. Just now got the notification, says uh, Lane Berry. It's okay. I'm just now going live. Padre says, seriously, is he cold? Yes, it. I am, I am very cold. I'm, I'm surprised that this has come as a surprise to you. I mean, you all know that I broadcast from my office. And that I have to open my window in order to exhaust the smoke. Which means that it's it's cold and I'm I'm in layers. I've got my vest under there. It's like a, a down feather vest. And then I've got my other coat on top. I've got my boots on. I am planning on staying warm tonight if I can possibly help it. Fire helps. Hooray for fire. We're playing a game called The Room for Old Sins. 
Uh, it looked interesting to me. I recall playing uh, the room one, was it? Or was it the room two? I don't remember. It was a very long time ago, and I don't remember if I broadcasted it or not. Uh, but I do remember playing it, and I remember it took me... It was actually pretty challenging. It's kind of a, a sinister puzzle-type game. Uh, very unlike what we typically do here on the program. But I thought I would spice things up a bit and try something new. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play it outside of today's broadcast. You know, I typically finish games that I start, but I don't know if I'm going to do that with this one. I definitely want to try it out for an hour or two or three just to see if it's uh, any fun, and then we'll see if we want to finish it later. Rachel says, have your chunks found a home? They have not. They're sitting just all over the place. I've got a chunk over here. I've got a chunk over there. I'm just surrounded by chunks. I mean, they're all delicious. I mean, look at that. Does that not look delicious? That's an egg chunk. I've got my chunks on this desk. I've got my chunks on that desk. I, I can't seem to escape my chunks. Eventually, I'll find a home for the chunks in this office, but as of yet, there is no home. The Easy Life says, Hey there, Ox. Been a while since I caught a stream. We've been battling illness and stress after having to change jobs. I'm now a caregiver for the elderly. Trying a new camera angle? Cheers. The easy life. It must have been a while. Um, if you're just, uh, if you're noticing the, um, the new camera angle. Yes, I, uh, I had a computer malfunction several weeks ago, which has caused me to start broadcasting from this computer instead of, uh, uh, well, I mean, I have always broadcasted from this computer, but uh, I typically played games on that computer, so my entire operational setup was over here, which is why the camera was turned a little bit and pushed over there. But now that my entire operational setup is over here in order to play the game as well as broadcast, I had to change the angle of the camera, so that's what we've done today. But good news, update on the computer. It's done, it's in a box, and it's on its way. Hooray! I can't wait. It took a couple of weeks after ordering for them to complete the camera, or I'm sorry, to complete the computer, but it is finally on the way and I can't wait to unpack it. Now that said, I am going to be out all next week. I mentioned this during my uh, show yesterday when we were playing Baldur's Gate, but I'm going on a business trip next week. I leave early Monday morning and I don't get back until late Sunday evening that week. So I won't be able to do any uh, live streams next week, not even Scotch and Smoke Rings. So apologies ahead of time. But I figured I'd let you know now so that you knew what to expect. Don't worry, I'll make it up for, uh, make it up to you when my computer gets here. I'll be back in content creation mode, and I'll be cranking out the new episodes and the full story of Fallout 4 ASAP. And we'll be able to go back to playing System Shock. All of the saves for that game are on that computer. And yeah, it'll open up a lot of doors for us, and I can't wait for that. Jackrabbit says, so Ox decided to go with a whole new PC. I did. I figured it was about time. It was becoming more expensive to replace the parts piece by piece than it was to replace the entire computer. And um, really, it was down to the CPU. The, the thing is, I mean, if I could if I could have figured out what was wrong, uh, it might have been cheaper for me to uh, replace that, to fix that and continue with my existing computer. But I replaced the GPU, that wasn't it. I replaced the CPU, that wasn't it, which means it's a BIOS setting or the motherboard. But if it was the motherboard, then I would have had to have rebuilt the computer anyway because a modern moder a motherboard would not have been compatible with the generation of Intel chip that I had installed in the CPU socket. So it just became quicker, more cost effective to buy a new computer than to um, try and diagnose this piece by piece. 
Mr. Red says, Hey, Ox, if you remember my nine uh, most hated Fallout 76 enemies yesterday, I'd like to make that ten. My number one is now the Sheep Squatch and no longer the Scorch Beast. <laughs> well, I'd hate to have seen whatever battle it was that caused you to come to that conclusion. I'm, I still hate the Scorch Beast. Uh, at least with a Sheep Squatch, I can get up close and personal with it and nine times out of ten kill it. With a Scorch Beast, unless I find the perfect spot to snipe where it can't get a hold of me, it's very difficult. Well, I say that about the Scorch Beast Queen. A regular Scorch Beast, I can take down, but they're, they're annoying because they're relentless, because they can fly. And they don't leave you alone. So the Scorch Beast still takes the number one spot in my book because if you're walking around and you aggro one accidentally, it'll follow you from one end of the map to the other, and it won't leave you alone. You're forced to stop whatever you're doing and kill it. Padre says, how does a snowman get around town? By icicle. By icicle. What did the snowman say to the dog that relieved itself on the sidewalk? I see what you did there. Why did Princess Elsa fall off her sled? She let it go. Oh, soothe, soothe me of the bad dad jokes, Scotch. Help, help me, Scotch. You're my only hope. Evening, Ox. Stay warm, says Padre. Thank you very much, Padre, for the contributions. David says, uh, what cigar and scotch are you enjoying this evening? Today, I am enjoying... It's uh, something unusual. It's a an El, El Rey del Mundo. I think I've had it before. But it's a, it's a rarity on the program. It's a larger ring gauge than I'm used to but it's an El Rey Del Mundo. And I've got Glenfiddich Scotch and my rum and coke. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, there's a family-friendly point-and-click adventure game series you might like. It's called Spy Fox, and it has a lot of dad jokes. Is that, is that where we've gotten to with my broadcast? I've got, I've got you guys recommending family-friendly point-and-click adventure games for me to play. Um, oh, maybe you meant for me to play with my kids. Okay, off stream. Yeah, all right, I'll check it out. Spy Fox. All right. Doesn't sound like the kind of game I would broadcast typically, but um, yeah. I might check it out with the kids. For a minute there, I thought this was a whole old man gamer thing all over again. But no. One second. Allergies. I mean, no, I'm not a barbarian. I'm not going to blow my nose on camera with the microphone on for you all to hear. This isn't a, a, a mukbang. That's, that's what they do on mukbangs, isn't it? I'm sorry, a mukbang. The Easy Life says, I was at work and received an audio file from my wife. She was talking with our girl, asking her to repeat something. And after a moment, I heard a tiny voice say, I love you, Daddy. Hashtag happy cry at work. For a moment, I thought you were setting up a dad joke, but no, that was just a really sweet moment. Well, the easy life, that's wonderful. I remember when you came 
on and told me of your wife's pregnancy and then the baby being born and now she's saying I love daddy. That's amazing. Thank you. The easy life. Maximus on uh, Twitch says, it's my birthday, Oxhorn. Awesome, Maximus. Good to hear that. I'm glad you made it to the show today. Ooh, looks like my Twitch chat is flying off the screen there. Jessica McDonald on Facebook says, uh, hey, Ox, try having dry skin. When seasons change, your skin turns to sandpaper. I can only imagine how that how bad that would be. I uh, I've been told that I have dry skin. I've never th known myself to have dry skin, but then again, I don't really compare my skin to other skins. Are there other skins you can typically compare your skin to? I only know one 42-year-old male, and that's me. So I can only compare a 42-year-old male skin to myself, really. So I don't know if my skin is dry, but uh, it is leathery. It is, it's is—it's been compared to elephant hide in the past by people who've, who have become uh, aware of it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Are elephants soft? I imagine they're soft. They look soft. I've never touched an elephant. Mr. Red says, I completely understand your opinion on the Scorch Beast, because while doing the Order of the Mystery uh, quest, I got chased to White Springs by a Scorch Beast. Yeah, uh, they're just the worst creatures ever. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Julian Z says, Hi, Ox, so good to see you on the Scotch and Smoke Rings. So glad to hear your PC is in the quality check. Can't wait. Did you make your PC with all sorts of rainbow RGB lights? Like a true gamer? <laughs> or is it aesthetically boring? <laughs> um, uh, I made it R uh, RGB lighty, like a, like a true gamer. It was going to be aesthetically boring. I, um... When I started purchasing replacement parts for my existing... So when I made that computer over there, it was pretty. It was it was pretty. I think I showed off a few pictures of it several years ago. You'd have to go back to like 2018 or 2019 on Twitter to see some photos of it. But I shared photos of it, and I had the radiator, and it had the fans on the radiator were glowing. The RAM cards were glowing. The CPU cooler was glowing. It even had a glowing GPU. Like, everything glowed. But, uh, you know, the rainbow lights were a bit distracting, so I just made everything nuclear apocalypse green. Nuclear apocalypse green. But when I, um, when I started replacing parts in order to fix it, I said to myself, enough of this extravagance. I'm just going to get something that works. And so I bought a bunch of pieces that I felt were a bit more mature at the time, and they didn't have any RGB flashing lights. But then, when I started putting it together, um, family came into my office and they were like, this computer looks so boring. What are all the flashing lights? And so, for their benefit, I decided to get tons and tons of flashing lights. I bought a bunch of case fans. So when you uh, built the PC in their online PC builder, you could choose a, a number of, a, a variety of other extras to add into it. And I chose to add a ton of case fans. Basically, if there was a slot on the case for a fan, I installed one because, you know, I wanted it to go Mach 10. Everyone knows that your, your computer works better and plays game better the more fans you have. Uh, your frame rate is, there, it's part of a math equation. Frame rate divided by the square root of case fans equals good. So yeah, I got a lot of case fans and they all, they all glow. And, um, yeah, I'll show it off. I'll show it off when it finally gets here. Uh, gra Random Graymane says, If you sneeze into the mic socket, the price goes up <laughs> when you sell it or auction it off. Right, uh, because it'll be full of all sorts of genetic material, and, and then people will clone me, and in, you know, a thousand years, the planet will just be comprised of my clones. And trust me, that is not a reality any of us want to live in. So I think I'll do everyone a favor and blow my nose over there. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, we need a full Beat Saber booty shaking stream. Do you? Is that what you need? You certainly 
sat down and spent the time to think it, write it, and then spend money to me to ask for it. So perhaps you need it, the Raging Krogan, but I don't think anyone else needs that. I, I don't think people watching right now are going, yes, that's what I need. I need to see Oxhorn getting sweaty with the Beat Sabers slicing blocks in the sky to music. That's that's on no one's wish list. I can promise you that. If it were, I might do it, but it's not. Jess Vicious says, Hi Ox, I'm new here with a sore throat, cold and dying from my coughs. Lol. Thanks for the show. Also, could you play South Park Fractured But Whole? Fractured But Whole. <clears throat> Um, uh, you know, I've had people uh, recommend that to me, as well as the Sword of Truth, I believe it was, or something. Uh, yeah, I, I, well, I don't know. I, it's on my list. It's on my list. It's not uh, typically the kind of game that I play. Also, you know, as fond as I am of South Park, they can be unpredictable at times in terms of, well, where their minds go. <laughs> and I don't know if, uh, if it's YouTube stream worthy. Oh, it, because basically I need to make money doing this and I with with South Park you never can tell how far they'll go so maybe maybe I'll, I'll have to think about that one Obi-Wan Kenny says I saw a PC build on uh, Reddit the PC master race subreddit that had around eight fans imagine how fast that was yeah I mean that's got to be up in the overclocks it's got the 13 case fans and the nine overclocks which leads it to the FPS of 200 and a refresh speed of infinity megahertz. Those are all good things. Case fans, that's the secret. Padres says, 17 months of dad jokes. Padres a member, has been a member for 17 months and is a gold ox. Woo hoo, how do you make an orange laugh? You tickle its navel. Ha! Seriously, thanks for all you do. Cheers. Thank you, Padre. Tickle its navel. Oh, that's nice. It's a nice one. Thank you, Padre. By the way, I had, uh, I remember many of you were asking if YouTube opened up slots for new badges for members who have been members for more than 48 months. And I checked that out um, today, and no, they haven't. So sadly, I can't update the badges. But I'm really hoping, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll add more because I've got people who have passed the 48th month and they, they need a new badge that reflects it. Jessica on Facebook says, Next time your family complains about the lack of bells and whistles on your computer, tell them to look at the decor shelf you have of Fallout props. That's true. I do have lots of pretty fallout props that's definitely it stands out more you see i wouldn't want to draw attention away from that i don't need the computer to be super flashy when i've got that rizal on twitch says hi oxford nice to meet you i subscribed your youtube channel for two years now greetings everyone well thank you rizal greetings to you as well uh, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Vince M says, Evening Ox, hope all is well. Have a dad joke for you. I tried to climb a really tall tower in France, but I fell off. But Eiffel off. Cheers. Cheers. Lovely, Vince. Wonderful. I fall off. Oh, so good. Sigri Bloodfang says, looking dapper as always, Ox. Thank you. But, I, you know, this isn't because of style. This is because of necessity. I am freezing my tush off in this office. It's so cold. We had sleet and hail two nights ago. 
I know, in February. I, I mean, I, I suppose that's not too surprising. People get snow in February. But this is the Seattle area, and we typically don't have a lot of cold, snowy weather up here. It's typically a really mild and sometimes even moderate climate. So, yes, I'm feeling the effects of the cold, and I'm bundling up. John M. says, Sweaty Ox Daddy Beat Saber. Look, this, that is a series of words that in no reality of any multiverse, Marvel or otherwise, should be joined together. Why, John M., would you offend us all with such a thought? Riker1138 says, What is a pirate's favorite letter? You would think it would be R... But it's actually the C. I'm not smiling about that. I'm not smiling. That's not funny. I it's the simple ones that have the I just I have a reaction to very simple, simple, very simple dad jokes. And it, it's it, this isn't an expression of my humor. I'm not humored by that in any way. It's bad. I kid, wonderful contribution. Thank you, Ranker1138. Rachel says, okay, hear me out. Ox emoji or t-shirt of cartoon ox in a vault suit and bowler doing the vault boy thumbs up pose. That's a cute idea. I really like it. I worry about copyright. That kind of skirts the edge. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't had any merch with the Vault Boy on it is because the Vault Boy is actually a copyrighted character uh, of of Fallout, of the Fallout franchise. Same with the, with the Nuka-Cola and the Nuka-Cola Girl and a few things like that. So I can't, I can't actually do any of that. What, would it be okay to imitate it? Uh, I don't know. People have gotten in trouble by the likes of Disney, for example, uh, for simply putting their cartoon characters in red shorts with big yellow buttons. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to talk to somebody about that. Ava Rose says, Hey, Ox, glad to see you tonight. Stopped working nights recently, so looking forward to scotch and smoke rings every week. Also, a happy birthday to my Holly. Well, thank you very much, Avaro. Happy birthday to Holly. And I'm glad you're going to be able to join the program more often. Riesel85 on Twitch says, Hi. Oh, uh, wow. It, it seems tasty cigar there. What brand? It is a pretty tasty cigar. I've been saving this one for the program because it's a nice big chonky one. This is an El Rey Del Mundo. El Rey Del Mundo. Jess Vicious says, the fractured butthole, I'm sorry, the fractured butthole, is more quote-unquote stream-worthy for you than Stick of Truth is, unless you don't mind fighting Nazi zombies and aliens. I, I mean, I don't, I don't mind fighting Nazi zombies. I mean, I've played Wolfenstein. I've played all of the Wolfensteins on this show. Does YouTube have a problem with fighting Nazi zombies? They didn't back in the old days when I did Old Blood and New Order and all of that jazz and Colossus. Have they changed? It used to be that YouTube was very pro-fighting Nazi zombies. Have they taken an opposing stance? If so, I'm concerned. Victoria Calendar says, Howdy Ox, I received my plushie today. Adorable. Thanks for the wonderful streams. Have a great time with the game this evening. Thank you very much, Victoria. Glad you got your plushie. And thank you so much for buying one. Um, PSA, I'm over halfway sold out of the plushies. I've sold over half of them. Uh, and they're all printed and put together and ready for sale. So if you want to snag one, they're currently in stock. Now's your opportunity to get one while I still have them in stock. Once they're gone, they're gone, and there likely will never be any more like it. So snag your Oxhorn plushie today. 
Toby Noble on uh, Facebook says, how did they get between floors on the Death Star? In the elevator. Thank you, Toby Noble. Appreciate it. Uh, Nick Luz says, I really enjoy listening to you, Oxhorn. You're so pleasant. Well, thank you. That's very kind. Uh, by the way, don't buy Velcro. It's a total ripoff. Yes. Yes. All right. I'll bear that in mind. Ve Velcro is a ripoff. Julian Z says, lol, that's so funny to hear. Because I was the same way when I built my PC using Ironsides. Didn't know much about PCs, so I just assumed the more fans, the better. Ended up with six fans. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, in reality, you know, there's a limit to the number of case fans that are actually important. Honestly, case fans are not that important at all. Yes, they can optimize airflow, but I had a, an open case design with zero case fans which lasted me for five years what's most important of course is the fan on the radiator for whatever heat sink you're using for your cpu and your gpu those are the only fans that really matter yes you can optimize the temperature and the airflow in your case by having case fans but they're really not that important but they do look nice they do look nice Adam M. says, uh, Europeans complain American measurements like mile instead of kilometer, but we never complain. They say smile instead of smeter. What do I do with that one, chat? That's... I've never thought of that before. I mean, that's a genuinely new thought. I'll give you that one. That is a genuinely new thought that you have placed in my head. Adam M. Oh, wonderful. Just great. The Raging Krogan says, uh, if you decide to do the stream, wear Daisy Dukes. You guys are just having a ball today, aren't you? You can't control yourselves. You want to see me up there in Daisy Dukes? With a VR headset doing lightsabers. I think you you guys, you're on the wrong platform here. I mean, this is typically... Just go to the hot tub section of Twitch and have at it, right? Just talk to them. Talk to those. They like that sort of stuff. They know what to say. I don't know what to say to that kind of stuff. I don't do hot tub streams. I don't do cleavage streams. I don't do Daisy Duke Beat Saber streams. It's... I do bundled up as if I'm in the Arctic smoking the cigar streams. That's what I do, and I hope you approve. All right, hold on. Allergies again. Ah. There we go. Von Reck gifted 10 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Von Reck. And congratulations to Dr. Cox, Cethian Sassan, Black Label Mark, M. Sanders, Kent O'Rourke, Mike Wright, Heather Lightfoot, Christy J., Ryan McWilliams, and T. Guess. Awesome, Von Reck. Thank you so much. Toby Noble says, Obi-Wan and Luke went to a Chinese restaurant, but Luke couldn't use the chopsticks. So Obi-Wan said, use the forks, Luke. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man, Toby. I mean, you, I heard it in my head and everything. I had to, I had to do the voice because I could hear it. I could hear it in my head. Headed Play on Twitch says, I don't want to see you in Daisy Duke shorts. 
I, I know, that's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know why the Raging Krogan thinks that you all do, but nobody does. I don't want to be in them. I don't want to be in them or see myself in them. Nobody wants to see that. What you are saying is just confirming what I already knew, what we all already knew. So Krogan, you can stop putting these thoughts in our imaginations. No, I do not approve. Nuka Tom, with a very generous super chat, thank you so much, Nuka Tom, says, Tonight on Scotch and Smoke Rings, our hero in high quality head headwear metaphorically trades his bowler and cigar for a deer stalker cap and a clay pipe as he tackles a mind bending mystery you'd read from the pen of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Prepare your drinks, sit tight, and stay tuned. All right, thank you for that one, Nuka Tom. That was very dramatic. I love it, and I hope that the broadcast is able to meet those high standards you have set with such a wonderful introduction. Vin Sam, with a gift, one Oxhorn membership to the community. Thank you so much, Vince M, and congratulations to It's Stassi. Thanks again, Vince, and congratulations, It's Stassi. The Mad Wizard says, hey, Ox, what about Lederhosen? What about Lederhosen? They exist in this, in this world. You can find them on a planet. Do I have plans for them to be anywhere near me? No, no. I will not be doing streams in Lederhosen or Daisy Dukes. I will not be doing streams in hot tubs or doing Beat Sabers. I will not do them, Sam I am. Doghouse 75 became a gold ox. Thank you so much, Doghouse 75. Madam Misstep says, Hey, Ox, uh, Ox, I watched your YouTube forever and just got into Twitch. Thank you, Madam Misstep. Uh, good to see you again. I hope you're still enjoying my YouTube videos. I'm still publishing them all the time, working on getting my computer fixed, and once it's done, I'll be back making my lore videos. Jeff Day says, hello, Ox. Looking forward to another great stream. I'll be enjoying it with a Perdomo cigar and a 12-year-old scotch. Play on, sir. Thanks, Jeff. That sounds like you've got a great night ahead of you. I'm glad you're here. You're in for some good company. Brian Isaacs says, what about blue face and a kilt? Eh, uh, maybe. I mean, the nice thing about that is all you'd see is my knees and shins. I got pretty good knees. Not to brag or anything, but I could be a knee model. You know, they've got those hand models for things like rings and jewelry. I've never tried, but I could be a, I could be a knee model. I don't know what you would need a knee model for. But I could do it. I could pull it off. I, I got decent knees and my shins. You could cut butter with my shin bones. Not that I recommend it, you know, for hygiene reasons, but you could if you wanted to. I got sharp shin bones. They're sharp. Okay, I might do a kilt. Or I might do a kilt. I got to get the music back up here. Ours says, howdy, Ox. Hey there, Ours. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, I, I, I see now why I don't typically do this. This ring gauge size. This is just a bit too big. I like to chomp it in the side of my mouth, not, you know, put it in the front. And if you put it in the side, there's less room, so it's like... 
then I can't close it completely to get a tight seal. Jared Shover on Facebook says, so sorry for being late to the stream, Ox. No worries, Jared Shover. Glad you made it. Thanks for keeping coming back time and time again. The Raging Krogan says, a kilt beat stream? I knew you cared. No, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do any sort of activity in a kilt. I might stand and pose in a kilt, but I wouldn't, like, move around in a kilt because things move when you're moving and you need them to be contained. If you're wearing a kilt, there's freedom of motion and there's a lot of sway. You don't, I'm just, not to be gross or graphic here, but I probably wouldn't play Beat Saber in a kilt. There's just too much movement, too much movement. Things need to be contained. I am, after all, an old man gamer now. And you know what they say about old men gamers. <sighs> Yay balls. <clears throat> uh, Vince M says, uh, I'll keep praying for you that everything works out with your new PC Ox. The Ox plushie I got for my sister came in today. She said it was cute. That's great, Vince. I'm so glad. I'm glad your sister enjoyed it. And that it looks like the new PC is working out really well. I can't wait until it arrives. Dan the Chad says, Oxhorn plays Beat Saber in a kilt for charity. Now, I'd, I'd get banned from, from doing fundraisers for charity if I did that. Could you imagine? I mean, I'm not saying you should imagine, but imagine. If I was doing a, a, a St. Jude live stream in a kilt doing Beat Saber to raise money for the kids, just so many things wrong with that. No. I, I, they wouldn't let me do it. No. Julian Z says, Ox, are you trying to tell us that you're packing? Packing what? Like a, a lunch? I've packed my share of lunches. You know, I send my kids off to the bus stop with a lunch in their lunch boxes. And I, if that's what you mean, then sure, I have packed before. I'm not packing at the moment. At the moment, I'm having a leisurely cigar with scotch, you know. It's a... It's a winding down portion of the day. I don't pack all the time. Do you pack all the time? Are you packing right now? I have packed my fair share of school lunches, but I am not at the moment. The Pie Boy on Twitch says, Hey Ox, I know you have a large list of upcoming games, but may I suggest the Mafia Trilogy or the Portal series? I mean, I do love Portal. I haven't played any of the Mafia games, but they've been recommended to me in the past. I've heard great things. But I've played all the Portal games, and those were great. I will add them to my list. It's Stasi says pack and meatballs. Meatball sandwiches are good. I've had meatball sandwiches. I haven't made them in lunches before. It's... It's hard because you got to slice the meatballs for them to fit between the slices of bread. You can't just put a meatball on a slice of bread and just smash it down. It won't. It doesn't work. You got to slice the meatballs to make a meatball sandwich. But yeah, I like meatball sandwiches. Hams says Studio Two Seventy One. Packing hams. I've. I have made ham sandwiches. Ham and mustard. It's the best combination. Not ham and ketchup. Who eats ham and ketchup? I've had people say ham and ketchup. I've had family who have eaten ham and ketchup. N no, it's, it's ham and mustard. Anything other than that is just just wild. It's too wild. And I don't, I don't get that wild. I'm a ham and mustard kind of guy. I don't do ham and mayonnaise or ham and ketchup or ham and relish. No, no. A little bit of ham and cheese. And mustard and bread. That's all you need. Ugh. 
Craig Euler says, hey, Ox, might I suggest Pacific Drive for scotch and smoke rings? A looter, horror, driving simulator set in the Pacific Northwest. You have my attention. Pacific Drive. I believe it's been recommended before. I'm going to make an extra special note for me here. There you go. I like that. Graham Cracker Muncher on Twitch says, I use hot sauce and ham. Uh, okay. I don't instantly hate it. There are times when you guys will recommend food things to me, and I instantly hate it. And it's for good reason, because they are inherently detestable. Well, hot sauce and ham? No, no, I, I, can, I can enjoy a spicy ham. I have enjoyed a spicy ham in my day. Usually it's a sweet ham, like a honeyed ham, or a spicy ham. All right, yeah, a little bit of hot sauce on a ham sandwich. I don't hate it, I don't hate it. It's unusual, but I don't hate it. Nukatom says, uh, I prefer a nice BLT myself with some mozzarella, sliced olives, and a tiny dollop of mustard. You had me uh, in, until you said the sliced olives, but that's just me. I realize I'm weird. I know that the olive has a long and storied history of being uh, being enjoy enjoyed by delicatessens, but I, I'm not a big olive fan. I don't really see the point. It's it's a weird, chalky t texture. It's, it doesn't have any flavor. It's just this chewy thing that invades your otherwise wonderful sandwich. Quite just an olive? Uh, but aside from that, yeah, the mozzarella, dollop of mustard. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Graham Cracker must, uh, Muncher on Twitch says, I'm talking about ham steaks, the kind you can put in a microwave for a few minutes and it'll be done. What? You microwave your ham steaks? Maybe if you're in a hurry, right? You, you're in the, it's early in the morning, you're late for work, gotta have your ham steaks, throw them in the microwave. Okay, I'm not gonna judge. But if you've got the time to enjoy a meal, you're not gonna microwave your ham steaks. You're gonna put them on the griddle. Gotta griddle up them ham steaks. Don't microwave a ham steak. Goodness. Donald Moore says, toaster oven at least. At least. I mean, toaster oven is bare, bare minimum, not microwave. Now, if you microwave the ham steak, it turns into just shoe leather. It gets tough, and the edges get sharp. You could cut yourself on the edges of the sharp ham steak, and then try and chew it, and it's like gnawing on shoe leather. No, 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 no. You got to put it on a griddle. You griddle up that, that ham steak, Maybe in a toaster oven. I've never tried that before. Vince M says, I'll stick with an Italian sub. Mayo on both sides. I usually swap out the provolone cheese for Munster cheese with black olives and lightly toasted. Again, you had me until the black olives. I love everything about that. Provolone cheese, Munster cheese, crispy Italian bread, lightly toasted black olives ruins it. Why? Just no. Might as well throw chocolate chips on it or something. Cause, uh, just weird. But that's just me. I realize that I'm bizarre in that particular angle. Sarah says, did Ox just say Munster cheese? It's Mun. No, no, no. It's got umlaut. There's an umlaut on the U. It's, it's Munster. It's, a, it's an umlaut. You got to, uh, uh, with the umlaut. It's not, like Americans say Munster, but it's, in, it's inaccurate. It's Munster. Culture yourself, Sarah. Come on now. We're not all barbarians. We don't have to be. Ragger 1138 says, meatballs go in a sub roll with mozzarella and marinara. 
Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's good. Everything about that, I love. Sub roll, mozzarella, marinara, lightly toasted. Not so toasted that it's black and tough. Nothing more that I hate than a black. You ruin the, you ruin the, the bun. The sub roll, the baguette, you ruin it. Just lightly toasted so it's just got that little crunch. Just the little, just a little bit of a crunch. But it's still soft on the outside when you hold it. Oh, so good. The Raging Krogan says, what's your least favorite fast food joint? Um, <laughs> Sarah says, did I just get shade? Ouch, I am uncultured swine. Well, we are talk talking about pork, aren't we? So, I mean, if it... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, favorite, my least favorite fast food joint. Um, gosh, I don't know. I, I, it's been so... I haven't eaten a lot of fast food lately. I used to really enjoy Taco Bell. I know it's bad. <laughs> I know it's really. I used to work at a Taco Bell when I was when I was a kid, so I know exactly how bad Taco Bell is. But I still like their food. Yeah. Um, I've never ta I've never been fond of McDonald's. Not my favorite. KFC is yeah, it's okay. Um, Dairy Queen is all right. I don't like their burgers. Their their fries are yeah, okay. You know who is the best fries? Five Guys. Mm. Five Guys has the best fries. The burgers are okay. They stopped doing the whole peanuts on the ground, which, which I know if, if you've never heard of Five Guys, this is all very weird, what I'm saying. But yeah, they used to have peanuts on the ground, and I liked that for some reason, but we don't do that anymore. Hmm. But yeah, they've got the best fries. Uh, what else is there? I, I, <laughs> I, haven't done, I haven't done fast food in a long time. I don't even know. Nuka Tom says, breaking news, local Seattle old man gamer Oxhorn consumes canned black and green olives for charity stream. Not going to happen. Listen, I, lo I love the charities out there, but I'm not eating olives on camera, let alone ever. I'm sorry, there's just nothing you can do to get me to eat an olive or a pineapple or a mushroom or anything else that is just, it's not really food. Can we be honest? None of those things are really food. Those are all things you eat with food because the food you have apparently isn't enough. And so you say, oh, I'll add an olive or, oh, I'll put a slice of pineapple on it or mm, here's a mushroom. Now you, you, it's not it's not a food. It's something you eat with food because you're insane. I just eat food, normal food without the extras. I don't want any of those weird things. Alt Grendel says, hello, Oxhorn and chat. Better late than never. Thank you very much, Alt Grendel. Better late than never. Good to see you, my friend. Burger King? Oh, yeah. I've been to Burger King. I actually like their fries better than McDonald's. I guess I'm not a big fan of McDonald's fries. I think McDonald's is pretty mediocre. It's, it's not my favorite fast food restaurant. Their burgers are mediocre. The fries are probably my least favorite. I like Burger King fries. Five Guys fries are the best. Um, Jack in the Box are they're okay. Wendy's. I haven't been to a Wendy's in probably a decade. I remember they had good Frosties. I can't remember if their fries were any good. Hmm. Donald Moore says it's called accoutrement. Yeah, accoutrement, you, they're, they're not real. They're, they're not, I mean, imagine just eating a big bag of accoutrement. It's like having a, a meal of croutons. Why? Ludicodin says, crazy food idea. May become a crime later. <laughs> Ham steak and Münster cheese. Cheese sliced as thick as the ham. Oh, yeah. Wrap it in a tortilla with garlic. Ooh, okay. Bell pepper, ah, oh, and onion. See, why you gotta throw the bell pepper and the onion? It's just kill me with the accoutrement. Deep fry for two to four minutes and enjoy. How are the cacti? Don't ask about the cacti. Uh, I've not been a very good cacti daddy, I guess. I, uh, I used to be really into my cacti. 
Uh, but I no longer have cacti. I now have cactus. And even then, it's leaning. It's the leaning tower of cactus. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. I used to be super into them, and now I've just lost my cactus passion. It's, it's still alive. One, one of them are. Did I have a weird glitch there? I got a strange error on OBS that said encoding overloaded. What was that? I've never seen that before. Encoding overloaded? Huh. Well, I've got zero drop frames, so I'll say that's still good. Lucy says, Sonic's food, quote unquote, sucks in my opinion. Their drinks and shakes are the best though. See, I, I don't have, we don't have a lot of Sonics up here in the Pacific Northwest. I've seen Sonics when I've traveled elsewhere in the States, uh, but I've never stopped to try a Sonics. So I don't know, I don't know what it's like. What are they? Are they just like a regular burger joint? Chen Yang says, uh, what's up, Ox? Have you tried Subway without the cheese? Why would you do that, though? Like, cheese makes the meal. Everything is better with cheese. Cheese is better with cheese. Why would you have a Subway without cheese? That's just like living without life. Sleeping without a pillow. Breathing without air. You gotta have cheese. No, I've never tried a Subway without a cheese. Presumably you are talking about the sandwiches. If you're talking about the Subway, well then... I mean, yes, I have ridden subways before without also having cheese. But I'm, I'm assuming, since for some reason we're talking about fast food this program, <laughs> you're talking about the sandwich shop. Scotty P says, Ox, how much would it cost to get you to eat olives? I mean, nothing, because it's not on the table. I'm not putting this out there as a possibility. I'm not going to throw out some random arbitrary number. Thousand dollars and I'll eat a can of olives. No. The th I want to enjoy $1,000 if I ever earn it. If I have to eat a can of olives to enjoy $1,000, I won't. Uh, every time I sit down to spend a dollar on a cigar or whatever, I'll just, it'll, I'll have this bad taste in my mouth. It'll, I'll be reminded of the olives I had to eat. I won't enjoy life anymore. Scotty P says, ox is less nurturing than a desert. Well, one is still alive. Okay, one of my cacti is still alive, and it's the best one. It's the one I like the best. It's the tallest one. It's it's gotten taller. I mean, it has toppled over, so it, it's I guess it's longer than it is tall. If I were to straighten it, it would be tall, but it's still alive. It has life. I'm not a desert. Man of Warp says, uh, this is no joke, Ox. Today I dealt with an engine calibrator who was never, who has never seen an actual engine her entire career. You dealt with an engine calibrator who has never seen an actual engine in her entire career. How? How? Did she get her degree in engine calib calibration by like playing simulation games or something like okay I could understand if you're a pilot and you are flying for the first time and this is your first time actually being in the cockpit because all of your hours are clocked into simulations okay fine but repairing an engine and you've never or calibrating an engine and you've never seen a calibrate or an engine before that's bizarre. I don't know how, how someone can get into that position. Jake Farley became a bronze ox. Thank you so much, Jake Farley. Dong Ho Choi says, have you tried Firehouse Subs? I've never heard of Firehouse Subs. I don't think they have them in my neck of the woods. Do 
BA says uh, Firehouse is 40% overpriced. Oh, is it? Well, I've never seen one. It must, must not be native to my area. I've, I've realized that there's a greater selection of fast food out there in the, in the, uh, the 48, the 48 states that are, that are not here. Um, what I'm trying to say is that the Pacific Northwest has a very limited selection of fast food. When I see memes on Reddit about fast food, they're always about some place called White Castle. I've never heard of a White Castle until I saw the memes. I have no idea what it is. I mean, uh, I'm assuming, based on the memes, that it's a burger place that, where they go heavy on the onion. But I've never... I don't know why they would call it White Castle. And I'm also assuming that it's really bad based on the negative press of this particular establishment. But they don't have them in my area. I don't know what a White... I've never heard of it. The White Castles and the Sonics and... Um, in and out in and out is a California, right? It's only in California. Don't have them up here. Wade Speakerman says, Time Ox. Oh! Is, is it time? Oh, yeah, it is. You guys get me talking about cheese, and I, I go off on a tangent. Nuka Tom says, I don't go to a lot of fast food places in general here in Jersey. There's a diner or a pub around every corner. But I'll trek to McDonald's every late February or March for a nice shamrock shake. I remember the shamrock shakes. Yep. It's funny, when I was a kid, I worked at a Taco Bell. And across the street from the Taco Bell was a McDonald's. And every lunch break, all the employees from the Taco Bell would cross the street to go to the McDonald's for lunch. And all the McDonald's employees would cross the street to go to the Taco Bell for lunch. It was... I guess that's one of those things where if you work around tacos all day, the last thing you want to eat for lunch is a taco. But for me, I was never fond of McDonald's. So if I had a lunch break, I would just make myself a taco or a burrito at Taco Bell and then sit down and eat lunch at Taco Bell. Plus, it was free. They would give you, but I don't know, everyone wanted to go to McDonald's when I was a kid. Toby Noble says, Oxhorn, you're no longer live on Facebook. What? How is that even possible? <laughs> okay. Uh, now, according to my broadcaster, I am live on Facebook. And though I'm not getting any Facebook comments. All right. Uh, weird. What on earth happened? Okay, well, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I appear to be live everywhere else, so I'll have to look into my settings on Facebook later. Okay, uh, let's dive into the game. Let me get this up and running. Gonna need to reorganize my chats here. Give me a sec. Here we go. Oh, why is it black? There it is. What? I just got an encoder error. What on earth is going on? All right, give me just a second.
Okay, uh, uh, yeah, something happened there. Basically, as soon as I launched the game, I started to get computer problems. Might be problems with my CPU. Uh, let me figure something out here. Captain Loggy says, I got a mod uh, for Fallout 4 that lets me play Antho Fox. Antho Fox? Uh, your character is an anthropomorphic fox, I'm assuming you mean by that? All right, sounds interesting. Thank you for sharing. Dark Cal says, what do you want the next Fallout game to take place? Well, I've, I've had that question asked before, and uh, I think Canada, annexed Canada, would be really interesting. Uh, Mexico would be interesting. The Pacific Northwest would also be great. Yeah. I'm guessing that. Okay, I've been getting strange encoder errors all broadcast. Uh, so let me check a few things here. It could be that my bit rate is a tad too high. What about Alaska, says NCR? Yeah, I mean, Alaska would be good. Let me refresh the page here now that I've turned off some things. See if that helped. All right, it still says that YouTube is not uh, getting enough data to maintain smooth streaming. Hold on. No, nope, I mean, everything looks okay. I'm just checking to see if I'm getting any frame hitches when I move my hand. But, uh, yeah, that looks okay for now. Maybe it's only when I launch the game. Uh, let me try that. Let me move my... Let, let me move my chats around and try this again. Hellcat says, uh, Hey, Ox, would you consider at least looking up a game called Lazarus to possibly play for Scotch and Smoke Ring sometime? I, I remember uh, seeing your comment earlier, and I actually made a note for Lazarus. It's on my list. I'll check it out. Captain L uh, uh, Lugi says, Do you know any Fallout lore about Michigan? Not off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, I don't really think any of the Fallout games have gone to Michigan. I know Lion's Expedition probably skirted close to it, but uh, I don't know if they ever went there. Okay, I'm turning off absolutely everything that is not directly related to this broadcast except for OBS. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, OBS browser page? What is that? Oh, dear Lord. You know when you have your, your software duplicated multiple times in the task manager? That's a bad sign. Okay, uh, well, let's see. Let's go to details, find OBS. Let's set the priority to high. Let's change the system priority on that. And now let's launch the game and hope for the best. Okay, game is launching so far, so good. Yeah, all right, all right. Now we switch to the game. Oh dear. Here's where it gets, here's the real test. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, I'm, I'm pretending you're a, a Muppet right now. That's what I'm doing. There we go. 
two, two, one, two. Okay, I think we're okay. We're good. So yeah, I just had to close Chrome. I probably should have done that sooner. <laughs> it looks like I just had to close Chrome. Rubber Burr says, how about just a stream of hand puppets? I mean, I think you'd enjoy that. I think I'd enjoy that. All right, let me go turn off the lights. Adam M. gifted five Oxford memberships to the community. Thank you, Adam, and congratulations to Spartan420, Jeff Zuniga, Chris McCabe, Connor Scriv, and Ruby Jeep. Okay, this is the room for old sins. I don't know much about this particular game. I remember playing the original The Room game. And um, so based on that experience, I think it's just a sinister puzzle game that has horror elements. We're going to try it. I've searched every room in this house, but this attic. I won't get much further in the dark. Okay. Tutorial, click and drag the screen to look around. Okay. Guess I switch it on. Nope. I'll need to turn on that floodlight if I'm going to find out what's over there. Double click the floodlight to focus on it. Okay. There we go. I think it's broken. <clears throat> I'll need the screwdriver from my case. Right click to zoom out. Double click on the case. Lift the latches. Mystery dis disappearance. My notebook holds all the information I was given for this assignment. Open the notebook. Subject profile, name Edward Lockwood, age 32, height 176 centimeters. Notes, trained as a mechanical engineer, dabbled in chemistry, Marriage to Abigail Waldgrave, raised status, led to assistant position at the Royal Institute. Position lasted one year. Dismissal occurred due to unspecified misconduct. <clears throat> Man of Warb says, before watching you, I saw a video in which a guy played Mass Effect 3 without importing a save from Mass Effect 2. You get the worst outcomes from 1 and 2. 
All squad mates except Garris, Tally, and Miranda Jacobs are dead. Oh my god, really? Wow. I wonder if that's the canonical. If that's the canonical ending then. Okay, notorious engineer dismissed from Royal Institute, Mr. Edward Lockwood provokes fury of the Royal Institute. Can we zoom in on the face? No, it looks like we can't. Oh! Spouse profile, name Mrs. Abigail Lockwood, knee Waldgrave, age 28, height 162, notes, classically trained artist known for funding exhibitions, only child of the esteemed Hugo Waldgrave. Marriage to Edward was controversial. On her father's death, Abigail inherited Waldgrave Manor and family's substantial debt. Deceased pioneer bequeaths estate to only daughter. Renowned artist Mrs. Abigail Lockwood inherits troubled Waldgrave Manor. Burdened with debt, a poisoned chalice. Julian Z says, hey, I played this game series on my phone. Oh, I didn't know it was a mobile game. Okay, we've got a map here. Can I, uh... No, I can't double-click it. Collect a report, the 1st of November, Mr. Lockwood's reports to my employers have ceased. Pro profitable, no, probable interference by his wife. Current whereabouts unknown. <coughs> <coughs> 12th of November, police search of Waldgrave Manor yields nothing. These matters are far beyond their understanding. 14th of November, my employers insist the sample remains within Waldgrave Manor. By now, its effects will be unmistakable to a trained eye. Find the trail, follow the source. <clears throat> All right. I got the screwdriver. What was that? I need a better look. Double click the flood. Yeah, well, we'll we gotta turn the light on first. So let's uh, drag the screwdriver onto the screw. Uh. Drag it from where? Oh, from there. Oh, dear God. Complete the circuit. All right. Well, those two are connected there. That's going around there and connected there. Ah, that's not connected there. Okay, how do I complete the circuit? My screwdriver is now gone. I can't use it. Oh. Oh. The body is gone. Ooh. <coughs> Tentacles on the manor. A dollhouse. Something isn't right. All right, we've got Latin there. It was the wrong way around. Oh, interesting. This surface looks unusual. I'll need something else from my case.
Everyone has secrets. Mine just have to happen to be hidden in this box. Eyepiece. I'll need to open this <clears throat> for it to be of any use. Open the eyepiece. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Click back. Click to wear the eyepiece. Break the seal. Find the null. Find the hole. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. I should use the eyepiece to examine the dollhouse. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be trippy. Well, that opened things up a bit. Okay. Huh. Double click the symbol to enter the room. Foyer. I'm now in the mansion. We've got a burning book. Whoa, what is that? Etiquette for husbands and wives by Anthony B. Cartwright. I actually think I've read that book. Oh, what? Ooh, we got some symbols there. Ew! They are unloading apparatus by the cartload, and I see my husband transform into the, a wide-eyed child. He hasn't been this animated since he left the Royal Institute. The men work in silence and stand awkwardly in my presence. Heads down. Silent. They will not hold my gaze. They look so desperate. I move aside. Stay out of their way. Why are certain men so threatened by women of intelligence? They will warm to me as they come to know me, I'm sure. The main thing is that Edward is working again. How many pages are there? Oh, dear God. Wait, no, that goes back. We read that. Okay. It seems the book in this dollhouse holds more than their covers suggest. I suspect the, they will be key to uncovering what happened here. Alt Grendel says the animation is really good. Yeah, I'm enjoying the animation. The question mark button will glow when a new hint is available. Hints can be disabled from the options menu. Okay. We've got a handprint. 
and a handprint, and then a symbol underneath. Ryan w McWilliams says, Ox, as a younger man, did you ever think you'd have several people demanding to see your bodacious dad bod? The chat swoons for your old man gamer body. Man, man, I don't know. See, I don't think they really do. I'm not sure that it's <clears throat> genuine. I have a sneaking suspicion that it's all a farce. Oh, hello. Well, where does that go? There's a little dot on there. Okay. There's no dot on there. Man of Warp says, every time I see the word foyer, I'm reminded of the Bioware game Dragon Age Inquisition in which an NPC keeps on complaining, this is not a vestibule, it's a foyer, in a bad French accent. I have yet to play it. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. A brass mechanical coin. All right, I can no longer interact with it. What does that have to do with this? Oh. It almost fits, but something isn't right. I should take a closer look. Ah. Aha. I see. Interesting. Okay, well, that's the line right there. Okay, it doesn't fit. Aha! 
This looks like it belongs on the dollhouse. A family crest. Audacia, audacia et industria. Audacious and industrious, I guess. Okay, well, that was just that side. What about this side? We've got another key mechanism over there. Can we take it out now? I can no longer zoom in. So I can't take that. Can I not click on anything else in the room? Oh. All right, so we've got like a pie symbol, a squig squiggly line. All right, we can't interact with anything else. The seal, the null, must lie beyond. Okay, we've got a stag statue, and then uh, a pedestal without a statue. Hey, we got the next coin. That was easy. Uh, okay, let's check out the other statue. This one is bare. All right, so we got it. Okay, so it's more of the same. <clears throat> okay. An ornate metal panel.
Okay. Oh, these are buttons. Oh, okay. This is the ornate panel I got. It doesn't look like I can interact with anything there. Okay, so when I flip it, So, now we've got to flip all of them. Okay, what can we tag? We can only tag one at a time. Okay, let's start with the square. Okay, let's start with that, and then flip that. Oh. We're going to flip that. Wait, how are we going to get to that one? It's in the middle. Those are both in the middle. Oh, there we can do them individually. I see. There we go. Okay, so now we need to release that one. I need to dilute it. A strange artifact found. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess we no longer need that room. OK. 
That one is now foyer complete. I have found the seal my employers spoke of. It is weakened, but far from broken. I am clearly on the path to finding the null element. Pat Bordeaux says, I've enjoyed all of your content for about six years and wanted to thank you for the great work keeping us entertained. Well, thank you very much, Pat Bordeaux. I'm so grateful to you guys that you keep coming back. That artifact I picked up, I think I should take a closer look at it. Mr. Red says, uh, I always say this when I get the solar cannon in Fallout 4. Finally, the power of the sun in the palms of my hand. It's fitting. Okay, strange artifact indeed. Uh, let's see, what can we interact with here? It looks like this could slide, maybe? Oh. Oh. It's a swan. A swan figurine. Okay. Oh, does this go on the pedestal next to the stag? It does! A model lamp. Okay, let's see, where would a lamp go? That's a bell tower. Um, we've got two lamps there. Oh, look at that, we've got one missing. Okay, what did that mean? Did that mean that I can now explore the rest of the building? Let's zoom in here. We've got a globe. It looks like a globe, but it isn't complete. Okay. Got an open window. Can we enter that window? No. But we could put something on top. There's normally something more to a tower like this. Yeah, like a, a spindle or something. Uh, we can't interact with the open door. Or I'm sorry, the open window. Bell Tower. This is like a pump or a generator of some sort. Scotty P says, if you like this, try the seventh guest VR. Okay. Another open window, but we can't get in there. Look at this. 
North, west, east, south. Oh. There's no way to know how the wind is blowing. Oh, I'm missing a sock. Okay, so this ornate metal panel, that's the only clue we have. We need to find a socket for it somehow. There's a door down here. Oh, look! Look at that matching metal panel. Okay. All right, do we match it? I have a feeling we're supposed to mirror that. But the first thing we got to do is move the one in the center, which we can't do when the others are pointing in the right direction. Now that they're not, we can move that there. Then we can move that there and then switch that up to move that there. Then we can move that there and switch that up to move that there. Aha! Well, well, well. The study. Okay, so in uh, Invisible Ink, we've got a triangle painted on the floor and then a dot painted on the drawer of this safe. A medallion with four holes. Okay. Okay, so uh, we need to remove this bar somehow. It looks like this is a steam-powered mechanism of some sort. Okay, so we gotta start the steam-powered mechanism. Gotta put something there. 
But I don't think we need this yet. Oh, book. A manual for steam engines. My wife calls, her voice rising up from the hall. Is it today? So soon. My mouth hangs limp as I watch my humble study transformed. There are entire faculties less well equipped. Some of the machinery I can barely name. I remember to smile, remember to breathe. The target of my research is a curious thing. Some newly discovered element, the properties of which are ill understood. So rare, so valuable. I catch Abigail beaming, and my heart lifts. For once, I can give her everything, but I must keep her from these people. The circle is not to be trifled with, and my wife is a curious woman. No matter how far we turn... Oh! There's the previous chapter! Interesting. Right. We have coils. The artifact is trapped inside this machine. There's the artifact right there. So we somehow got to get to that. Aha! Right, now we've got a dial. So we've got to do them in order. It's a four code passphrase. And we just got to figure out what they are. The handle is fixed in position. Well, this is gonna, oh, we need to, we need to repair this painting or this picture. Part of the picture has been torn off. Hello. Well, process of elimination. Dear God. Oh, 
Not too bad. What? Oh! Aha! A shaped piece of metal. Okay, it's got a cross on it. Alright, so it fits into a cross-shaped slot. Notice how there's, um... That design is right there as well. Whoop. Okay, uh, do we work on this? No, we need to... I can't rotate this by hand. Oh! That's a cross-shaped slot. Here we go. Another one. All right. Oh, this one's a little harder. Oh, it's got a top now, too. And a bottom. Well, well. Oh. Okay. Whatever drives the mechanism is missing. Okay, so I need a triangle-based peg there. Hello. Oh. Voila! And there it is. Triangle-based... Well, it's a... Uh, Little spinny doodle. Oh, I see what we gotta do. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I can't turn it around. I'm going to have to turn it around. It's a well, part of a model well. Huh. Well, I think that's probably gonna go outside.
Aha. The kitchen. But we didn't finish the study. <laughs> Are we going to have to find different parts in each of these places and move them around, or is each room going to have exactly what we need? <clears throat> I pause in a shadow on the landing as the raised voices reach me from below. Guttural threats drip with promise of violence. Progress is slow, but why? I don't believe Edward knows how to fail. Their terminology is arcane. I piece together what little I can. These men are no scientists, and surely no gentlemen. Why did we invite them into our home? Finally, they leave. I must find Edward, but am I lost? I get turned about twice just finding the study, my father's study, a door I spent my childhood with an ear pressed against. Now I can't recognize it, except for the sense I get of what's behind, like a dark stain in the world. Okay, looks like I'm having some internet connectivity issues there. Bustavo Plays says, grab me a beer from the fridge while you're there. Thank you, Bustavo Plays. Will do. <clears throat> and there we go. We're back to green. We had a brief red hiccup there, but now we're back to green. Okay, so we've got some graffiti beneath the oven. Some graffiti over there at the sink. All right, so lots to interact with. I'm guessing that the, um, the graffiti are places we can interact with. So, that's the exit. Let's look over here. At the dumbwaiter. Is this a dumbwaiter? All right, so to get the lid off, we're gonna have to take these uh, nuts off and we're gonna need a wrench for that. Let's take a look at the oven. We have to open these doors, but those are in the way. Let's try this. Ah. Oh. A small wheel. There's another one down there. Okay, so in order to, to open that, we're going to have to... Let's see, this has got a three-circle backing. That's not a three-circle backing.
Well, well. Triangle, bar, double triangle, two circles. Well, I don't know what that means. Oh, circle. Okay, this bell has a circle on it. There we go. This bell has a triangle. This bell has the bar. But before I can ring them, there's no way to ring this bell. Something is missing. I can ring this one. Uh, so, that's bar. I could do... But <clears throat> I can't do that yet because I need to get the the pulley for that. Oh, is that it? There it is. Hello. There's something down there, but I can't reach it. Looks like a glass bottle. Looks like something fits in there, an upside down Y, some kind of valve. Looks like there's a pipe missing there. Well, let's go finish the bell. Aha! An inkwell. Well, it's got a star-shaped impression on it, so I think I'm supposed to put it in a slot somewhere. I can't open it. Well, an inkwell goes in a study. Okay, we got that. We need a a Y-shaped impression to f do, to do that. We got that. We need something here. We need uh Well, this is a flame-shaped a flame-shaped impression to get into that. And then we need a a wrench or something to open that. Okay, let's see if anything we've found is gonna help us in the study. Okay. An inkwell goes on a writing desk. A star-shaped impression, and then another star-shaped impression. Ah, looky there. My son would love this game. Moment. Pixel Wisp says, make sure to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling in Windows. Helps with encoding issues 
when streaming and playing on the same GPU. Okay, we'll do it. Now I'm dancing between zero and 2,000. I need to get up back up to 9,000. Alt Grendel says the lag monster is attacking. Thank you, Alt Grendel. I'm noticing this. Yeah, I'm just hoping that it uh, sorts itself soon. Tosca says Ox, it's lagging. Thank you, Tosca. Yeah, I'm not. Ex I'm not exactly sure what's going on at the moment. Okay, I made a note about the hardware accel accelerated GPU scheduling. Okay, I wonder if if it would help for me to leave the game. Uh, let's quit real quick. Okay, I'm dancing now between 4 and 2,000 kilobytes per second. It's getting a little... No, now it's back down to zero. Uh, not exactly sure what's going on. If it's an... I mean, I've been broadcasting fine this entire time, besides that one hiccup earlier, uh, which means, leads me to believe that it's not a computer issue. It's a connection issue. Let me try and run a, um, a speed test. Let's see if I pick it up on the speed test like I like I'm picking up now. I am. Okay, so it's not me. It's not my computer. It is my connection. It's Comcast. According to my speed test, uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely getting some problems here. Let me try and change my bitrate. Let's uh, go to settings here. Stream. All right, even changing that is a bit of a problem. Hasn't really helped much, has it? A little better. Is, is the lag at least better? The quality might be low, but I'm just hoping the lag has resolved itself. But no, I'm still getting hitching on my broadcaster. Okay, I'm able to um, to maintain a steady 1,000 megabits kilobytes per second. Let me see. Let me try my uh, my speed test again. 1,000 really isn't enough for what I want to do, however. It might just be really low quality. As long as I can maintain a decent signal, that's fine. Okay, we're jumping back up to 30. Perhaps I'm just uh, waiting for it to catch up. It's looking better. It's looking better. Yeah. My speed test is saying that I'm, I'm back up to 30 megabits per second. Okay. I'm seeing a little bit of a delay. Now that's due to the choppiness earlier, but it looks like this, the picture has steadied itself. For how much longer that'll last, I don't know. Looks like the lag is a lot better. I'm going to risk putting this back up to 9,000. 
just to see how that does. We can always go back down. Two and nine. Okay, we're jumping between two and nine. Hmm, it doesn't like that. It didn't like that. Let me put that back down. All right, so it was putting me back in the red when I uh, put the bit rate down. Or when I put the bit rate back up, but putting it back down looks like it might have worked. So I think I've got a good signal. I just don't know what the quality looks like. I'm going to try and launch the game again and see how we do. Okay, we're back in the study. I've got a green light on my broadcaster. I, I'm still not back to the quality that I was earlier, but it still looks like this is decent. Hold on, YouTube is giving me a, YouTube is giving me an, a warning here. It wants me to broadcast at 6,000. But this is all I can maintain at the moment. I'll try this for a little bit, and um, we'll try and push the bitrate back up in a minute. Let me know in the chat if the quality is just too bad to bear. Okay, so we did something just a moment ago. It was on the writer's desk. We just uh, we put the ink well over here, and we unlocked this. Okay, we got a couple of buttons. Okay, well, which symbols are we supposed to use? Whoops. Okay, well, it's not telling me. Uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Do we just match them? Oh, we 
we gotta match those. So it's the circle and the triangle. Okay. There we go. What is that? A strange enamel fragment. Yeah, the quality is definitely suffering. But at least I'm maintaining a solid signal. Uh, let me see what my speed test says before I make any changes. Download speed is good. Upload speed is at 30. All right, I'm going to risk putting this at... Uh, let's let's do the YouTube recommended of 6,800. Okay, and I'm still able to maintain a decent signal. Hopefully that's going to increase the quality. Let's take a look at this strange enamel fragment that I got. It's got two pins in it. It almost looks biological, like a, a whale's filter or something. This is really weird. Well, what is that? Strange enamel fragment. Okay. Well, we've got this. It's got the three dots. It's got this star-shaped pattern. And then we've got the strange enamel fragment. Um, I can't zoom down on that. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it did that. Oh, that's one of the pieces that we have to, I see, okay. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that until just now. Well, there's another one over here. That leaves one more, and it's that one. We did that one. So we gotta close that. It keeps zooming me into that, which I've already done. See how we've opened the edges there? That's because each of the puzzles on this was emblazoned with a mark telling us that we could interact with it there. But this is the last one. See that, that mark? We got to close this. We got to close this drawer somehow. But see, now that messes it up. It's got to be open slightly. Oh, a little more.
There we go. So I got to figure out how to close that. Oh. Oh, what's this? A fire steel. Oh, look at that. And it moves. That's what it was. Hey. There's something strange about that aperture. Double click to examine the aperture. Okay, so we gotta align the gears. We need, we've got to get to this one to move it over. Um. Oh! Aha! I see what we did. Hold on. I made a boo boo. The handle of a model pump. Okay. <laughs> well, I know where that goes. That goes outside. Again. And that completes the writer's desk, I think. Well, not exactly. We still have that. We've got to figure out the code there. All right, so we've got that, 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 a fire steel. 
and the model pump. What are we missing for this? Oh, that's right. We need to move that, and to do that, we gotta get the steam working. Which means we need to put steam in here somehow. Aha! Uh -huh. We've got water working. Cool. We're back in the kitchen. We now have water flowing. But a pipe is missing. And this is how we're going to get steam into the study to work the contraption. Oh, look at this. We can now get the bottle a glass bottle. Fantastic. Inside a note. Torn photograph. Oh. Okay. Well, we know where that goes. This doesn't go there, does it? No. We completed that. We completed that. We need to complete this. But we don't have what's necessary. Well, let's go use the photograph. Paul says you need to make fire with the fire steel. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's repair the photograph while we're here. Okay, there's the code. X, S, two, two dashes and a, an LT. X S two dashes and an L T There's a triangle shaped lever. Oh, that's not triangle though. Didn't we have a triangle shaped? Well, that's the fire steel. Okay, we've got a triangle hole. We've got a square hole. Oh, there's the three dots. Didn't we have one that was the three dots? Yeah, that's it. It's a trained wheel.
Let's go socket that. Oh, interesting. Okay. so finicky. Oh dear. Okay, so I need to get it into that slot over there, and by moving it here, it uh, it always goes to the one on the opposite side. Um, and so if we put it there, then maybe Oh no, I see what we gotta do. Yeah, but we can't get down there from that. Ugh. Aha! Yay! A new peg. A metal stud. It's just a metal stud. Well, square. Square. There should be something connecting the wheels to the piston. This looks like one of those. Aha! Got it. Oh, man. A metal grill. Now that's going to go in the front. Seems like it should connect here, but it doesn't fit properly. Oh. Do I got to do something to it? Yep. An L-shaped connector. That hatch, I've seen this before. Okay, we 
we've got another aperture here. A cross shaped socket. Looks like it's part of a code. BF two five. Two five BF. Well, great. What's that for? Two five BF or BF two five? Is there a safe around here? Yeah, but that doesn't help me. Two five BF. Let's go use the fire steel. It looks like it pegs in somewhere. I mean, this has a fire symbol on it. I think something is missing here. However, this has a triangle symbol on it. Triangle symbol. I don't think we dropped the fire steel in there.
Oh. Oh my god. There we go. A winding key. Got a new book here. Applied Mechanics Handbook. I understand my clients. The null element is no curio. It is remarkable. It is all. They underestimate me also. This is my calling. I feel its embrace and I am whole. But how am I to progress with this insufferable racket. With each month of work, Abigail trusts less, prize more. I change the lock, and she beats relentlessly on the door. She pleads constantly, warning me of danger. Of course, there is danger here, sweet wife. There is everything here, but there is not outside. I wanted only to give you everything you dreamed of, but with this... With this, I can give you so much more. Minox says, ouch, their water bill is going to be outrageous. Yeah, no one ever thinks about that, do they? Water bill is going to be crazy. Okay, what do we got? A box. Oh. A model chimney. Oh, great. Okay, I think that's it for now. Uh, all right. Oh, I see. So close. We go.
curiosity room. Oh, I think the little enamel thing is going to go here. All right, we've got a big rotating thing in the middle. We've got something to do with the portrait, something to do with the face. Ah, something almost everywhere. Let's start clockwise. Compendium Curios. My husband is a stranger now. That man in the study is not him. What is this place? Was it once my home? It twists and writhes. I retreat to the attic, my childhood refuge. The dollhouse that father built was a world within a world. It seemed so fragile now, so tiny. I see the crack in the floorboards. I remember spying on father in his study. It's my husband's study now. It takes a while for my eyes to adjust to make out his hunched form. He works as if in a trance. I copy symbols, sketch apparatus, record all I can. I still have friends at the Royal Institute. They will hear of this null. Oh, Edward. Okay, so she sketched the machine that he was building down there. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not sure what that means just yet. <laughs> no, no idea yet. Ah. It's just an empty socket. Okay, we've got a cross and a triangle. Oh, there's a lot more. Triangle horseshoe. Triangle and cross triangle, triangle horseshoe, triangle and There's the horseshoe. Does this have to be first? Cross triangle, triangle horseshoe, triangle N.
Oh, it's not a cross. Oh, I see. It's pointing up. So the cross goes there. That's the horseshoe. That's the end. Oh, that's the heart. Oh. The chest cavity is empty. All right, so this is where we place the heart. And then those got to point towards it. Right? No. They're all different. Point toward away. Toward away. Away toward. Toward away. Toward away. Away toward. Now to find the heart. The bottom part of this mask is missing something. All right, and we've got some switches here. And this is what the completed mask looks like. So it's missing a mandible. Hugo Waldgrave. A piece of a map. There's a label here, but no object. Doesn't look right. I'll pick that piece up again. There we go. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Okay. Well. So we got to make this connection, I guess. Well, this always twists the bottom, second, and top. But what twists that?
Okay, so we just gotta find the right one. But there are only two. That one or this one. Wait, we somehow seem to be making progress. So if that goes there, we can't move that. Does that have anything to do with it? All right, maybe I'm missing something. Okay, we've got a half sun here and a half moon. Looks like a moon is gonna fit in there. Okay, we've got a pedestal here. We can't spin it. Okay, well, we still have this piece, the fire thing. We need to figure out what to do with it. A fire starter, a fire steel with a triangle on it, where would it go? We need to get water to produce steam to open that safe. And maybe it's outside? Structure looks incomplete. Nothing leading up to the balcony, or right? I need a staircase.
Codehanger says, can you switch the globe slash map piece to get a different tower? Maybe, but I mean, it's a, it's a globe piece. So you'd think it would only fit in one place. I've got this fire steel. It gives me the impression that I'm supposed to use it here. It's got a little, uh, a hole here as if I'm supposed to hang it on something. I see. This is this redirects the water, so I don't necessarily need a pipe. I think I need to direct it up. Codehanger says, are those uh, keyholes on either side of the fire symbol? Yeah, they are. They're, well, they're brackets or something, as if something fits in there. Um, maybe the flint... Yeah, I can't take the piece out now that I have it in there. Looks like there are quite a few other map fragments that I need to find. Maybe that's why I can't complete it yet, because I don't have the other map fragments. All right, so I need a heart for that. I need an eye for that. There's a window there.
Oh. Okay, well, I've got the brackets of the eyes correctly now. Ah. Okay, now I've got the roots in the background correctly. I just need to find the mandible. There's a label here, but no object. Wyoming Homesteader says, Ox, try moving the light up the tower in stages. Well, it doesn't move. So there's the light. But it doesn't move. It stays there. Unless I gotta do something like push a button... Toxic Sean says, love this community so much. 38 months, three years have flown by. Ha ha ha. Love the last game with the dots. Ha ha. Be cool, Ox and chat. Thanks, Toxic, for stopping by. I had a great time with uh, Scanner Sombra as well. You see, it doesn't move up. All right. Hint. Using my eyepiece revealed a special tower on the globe in the curiosity room. I think I need to slide that glowing orb to the highest point. Yeah, I mean, I figured that out. I figured that out. But how do you slide it? Oh, I manually move it. Of course. Of course I do. Oh my god. Okay, and there's the next piece of the map. I thought the light was going to move on its own because, you know, it's light. <laughs> I didn't think you had to drag it. Toxic Sean says, Hey, Oxhorn, haven't had the most time to be on while you're streaming. Starting to hear about all the PC troubles and internet woes. I still lurk in the background and watch all your streams. Love you, mate. Thank you so much, Toxic. I appreciate it. Love you, too. Okay, so now it's the same thing, but a ziggurat.
Oh, really? Well, uh... Okay, that's the only one it fits in. The entire top moves. I'm thinking maybe I just have to visually line it up, but it's not pushing me. It's not allowing me to go any further down. Uh, there are even collectibles you can... Uh, Devil Dare says, please read what I uh, read. Please read out what I said. And he says there are even collectibles you can find. There's hidden notes, audio logs, and lots of stuff you can get. What are you talking about? Oh, you want me to play an avatar game. Oh, okay. Thank you. See, I feel like we could um, arrange it in such a way so that the white lines line up and then you could go across like that, but... We have limited movement on the y-axis. Wyoming Homesteader says, Oxron, try changing your angle so it looks like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, so the light is trapped here. Oh, you mean maybe back here? See, I can't go any further down to make that a solid line. and it automatically moves to the next position. So there are only two ways to get this light out of the bottom rung. This one, which it directly connects to, and then this one, which it does not directly connect to, right? If I go like that, so that it looks like they're connecting, 
it doesn't allow me to push it up. Or if I went like that. So the only way for me to get it to the next tier is like that. But then now, See, I can't go, I can't push the camera down anymore to make this arrangement. Like, I could line that line up right there, but the, the light is right there. So, I'm going to use the hint. Using my eyepiece revealed a ghostly temple on the globe in the curiosity room. I think I need to slide that glowing orb to the socket at the top, obviously. Oh my god, I can move that. Jeez. we go. We could move the top. Hey, there's the bottom of the jaw. A carved wood piece. Okay, I think they're matching. Is it open all the way? It is open all the way. Oh, the eyebrows. There's the next map piece. Something must fit on this bracket. Ship. All right, let me try this new cigar. Okay, where's the light? There it is. There we go. Sebastian Sanchez uh, says, Oxhorn, I want to get my dad a good cigar and a whiskey pair. Any suggestions? Yeah, a brick house and a Glenfiddich or a Lagavulin are good options.
All right, another laser. Uh, hmm. Oh, I see the laser is emanating from the center and it's ricocheting off of these. Presumably we need to get it into there. Okay. Over there? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. It teleports. Interesting. Anubis mask. Cool. Right. Where would we put an Anubis mask? Uh, Anubis mask. All right, there's a circle slot. Oh. Go. <laughs> oh. Hey. We've got a crystal something. A gemstone. Doesn't slut in anything, but sits on something. Cool. Can't otherwise interact with it. Gemstone. Oh! Hey. Got an iron. An ornate iron. What a trade. <laughs> Dear. Oh, we need to take them apart. A metal handle. Ooh, it's got a flame on it. Hey, we know where this goes. We know where this goes. It goes in the kitchen. Ha 
Aha! Okay, ah! Ah! Aha! We got fire! Fire! A valve handle. We know where that goes. Look at that. Brilliant. Yes. This is such a payoff. Oh no. Go. Right, right, of course. Yes, in the safe. A pipe connector. Huh. All right, well, we used the steam to open the safe. Now we need to redirect the steam over here 
to power this machine. I've got a pipe connector. Oh. We go. Look at that. I love how steampunk this is. Okay, we need to get this piston moving, but we got something in the way here, like a flap. How do we move that flap? I can't zoom in any more than this. There's there's like a flap right here that if I could move, if I could lift this up, would allow me to turn this on, I think. Or actually, oh my God. There it is. A strange artifact. that room of the dollhouse is done which leaves two rooms that we've discovered and explored still incomplete study complete a room dense with obsession a study can be a refuge or a prison I have walked free of its bars, but my task remains. Break the seal, find the null. Let's take a look at this strange artifact we've found. Ah, another one of these. Oh, it's the moon. Yuck. Okay. Right, well, there's the weather vane that we need to put on the roof. It's in a jar. 
First of all, let's put the I in here. Oh, man, don't make me dive in there. A vision. He shattered the jar. It's there! Yay, we found it! A model weather vane. We know where to put this. North, west, east, south. There we go. Switch. Ooh. Did you hear something else close? Oh! What is that? It's... I can't... It's... West. North. Ah. The maritime room. Because, of course, every mansion has to have a maritime room. Acclaimed pioneer dead, Hugo Waldergrave dies aged 82. A life of adventure, Waldergrave Manor and debt inherited by only daughter, global treasure hunter from Arctic Sea to African jungle, the new submarine innovation... No. Some dumb waiter. 
Oh, it's the pot from the kitchen below. Hey. Oh, wow, for Pete's sake. We gotta go back to the kitchen to see what's in there. It's the heart! An artificial heart. And we've already set the pins up correctly. Let's go back to this one. This is going to be creepy, isn't it? That's his voice box. Okay, I think we need the settings. Yeah, we don't have the settings for this. Unless it was shown off somewhere here. He hears something. Where does that tube come from? It goes up. It goes up. Where does it go? To the maritime room, maybe? Aha! Aha! Ha, ha, ha. That's the tube that leads to his ears. Small submarine handling. I know by feel that this letter is different. The endless demands for progress are light. This is weight, terrible, ominous weight. I watch the contents spill across my desk. The detailed notes, the sketches of my apparatus. There is no mistaking the artist. My wife and betrayer is herself betrayed by her own hand. Poor, naive Abigail. 
How could you possibly believe the Circle would not be watching? They have me now. There will be no more delays. He found out what she was doing. Okay, so we gotta find the right number and then flip the switch, right? Oh, we gotta find a tube. It's not being powered correctly. Can we pull one of these? Let's see. We need a gear to put in here. We need something for this. We need, to, we, need to be, we need to be able to crank that, which we don't have. Oh, hello. That's the next artifact. What's this? Ah. It's a gear. <laughs> okay. What now? There's a little sp Oh, I see. Aha! A small propeller. The Raging Krogan says, Ox, if you're looking for some good survival horror games like Visage, May I recommend The Beast Inside? All right, I'll make myself a note. The Beast Inside. All right, we got a small propeller. So it's got a little port. I don't think it would fit there. This looks more like a crank. Oh, a little model submarine. Well, there we go. Inside the submarine. Mechanical submarine. Oh. A metal fin. Okay. A grapnel control.
Well, I guess the fin goes on the submarine. Yep. Okay. Dive. Guess it needs to surface. Ascending and descending. That's how we get the door open. Oh. We gotta dive to get the door open. That got it. It's the floor of the study. Hey, there's the vacuum tube. All right. Next book. I find Edward in father's curiosity room, and it's like the sun dawning. I feared he would never leave that study again. I see the pages in his hands, crumpled, torn, unmistakably mine. I try to explain, but his eyes look clean through me. I warn him, plead with him, but he is deaf to me. He says I have betrayed him. I have damned us both, destroyed his work, both our lives. I can sense it throughout him now, the wrongness, the taint I felt outside the study door. In this moment, I know my Edward is gone, and no help is ever to come. I have only one choice.
Well, looks like we need to get some uh, instructions, and I think it's from the vacuum tube. We've got the vacuum. Oop, hold on, what's in there? Hello. It's a harpoon gun. But no harpoon. A harpoon gun that rings the bell. Okay, let's replace the vacuum tube. What do you hear? It's gonna be diving instructions. Five degrees north. Five degrees west. Oh, eighty five degrees west. Five degrees north, 85 degrees west. Five degrees north, 85 degrees west. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Oh, no. What have we found? This is great. Oh, man. Full speed ahead. There we go. Can we move? We can. Hello. What's that blue thing? Just a rock. Ooh. 
Ooh, well, I think we found it. We gotta line it up. Throw it a flat. I think we know where this goes. It matches, but it doesn't connect. I should take another look at the pendant. Oh. Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. I did, I opened it. What? Oh. 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 Get the chandelier from the last room. Okay, they're all pointing out. Uh, 
Where have we seen that? Where have we seen the code for that? Does that have anything to do with the X's on the ground? I'm thinking it's probably in a different room. Okay, we've got the maritime room, we've got the kitchen, which are not complete yet. The study is complete, the foyer is complete. Those are the only other two rooms we've unlocked. We've got a pearl. Oxhorn, try moving the eye. Interesting. <clears throat> this is so great. The next artifact. And that's it for the curio room.
Darkness is darkness, no matter which corner of the globe it creeps from. The room is closed, but only just true evidence that one's curiosity can be one's undoing. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, what an interesting little game. I'm having a good time with it. Let me know in the comments and in the chat what you think, if you'd like to see me continue it. I have a long list of other games to pursue for Scotch and Smoke Rings, so maybe I'll end this and pick up one of those for next time. But remember, next week I'm out of town on a business trip, and I'll be gone all week. So no streams on Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I'm out of town. So bear that in mind, everybody. Thank you for your patience and understanding. When I get back, my computer should be here. I look forward to setting it up and getting back to work on my Fallout 4 lore series and getting my, my live streams back to normal. That's the plan. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.